Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Boy, did it rain today. It was a soaking rain up to a half inch falling in some locations about a quarter inch of the airport, but in the mountains almost two inches in some places even more than two inches of rain falling. This is a view from the village cam here at Meridian, the village at Meridian and look at the low cloud cover. We had a soaking rain this morning and that time lapse shows it was a gray day for the most part. But again, as you take a look at what's happening right now, we're talking about some nice weather out there. The sunshine is back. 47 degrees is the temperature at the airport. The humidity was showing up at 100%. Uh, it might be off. I'll have to check that out, especially with the temperature of 47. I think we're drying out. Uh, north wind at 10. We've had some much higher gusts than that, certainly. And those gusty winds could continue. Well, they may settle down overnight, but they're going to come back during the day tomorrow. So a blustery, chilly day during the day tomorrow. But at least the clouds and rain are gone. The blue skies will come back. I, I say gone. There are still some isolated showers out there. Keep that in mind this evening. We may see an isolated shower or two. But temperature-wise, 47 just popped up to 47 at the airport. It's been in the low 40s most of the day, but now that the sun is out, remember the sun going down an hour later, at least it feels that way since we've changed our clocks, and so that temperature, high temperature being reached a little bit later in the day, and so we're getting the benefits of that sun warming the temperature a little bit, but the wind is gusty as well. Warm temperatures to the south, 80 in Vegas right now, and look here to the north and west, we're in the 50s in Portland, so it is staying on the mild side. Let's take a look at what's happening right now across southwest Idaho, 54 in Ontario, 47 in Boise and Mountain Home, 41 in Twin. Now there's still some snow showers in the mountains and some isolated showers pushing through parts of the valley in the Weezer River Basin where there was a soaking rain, rising creeks. There's been some water ponding off the sides of the road on Highway 55. Again, there's still an aerial flood watch, a flood advisory in effect for the upper Weezer River Basin here uh, through midnight tonight. So keep that in mind. Creeks could still be rising. But you see these temperatures, 47 in Mountain Home, strong winds coming out of the northwest. We were, gust we were actually at 31 miles an hour last hour. The winds are starting to settle back down, but the wind chill has been on the chilly side. Feels like 27 in Twin right now with snow to the northeast of Sun Valley, uh, and it feels like it's 36 degrees in Mountain Home. So definitely chilly out there, and that will be the word tomorrow as well. This uh, dip in the jet stream and the cool weather coming it isn't just moving through tonight and clearing us out. There's another little lobe of energy here to the north and west. That'll keep the wind going tomorrow out of the northwest and keeping it chilly, but if you've stared at satellite pictures long enough, you realize there's a lot of dry weather here. High pressure is going to start to build on in, and that will mean some sunshine coming in for the next several days. So we'll deal with some wind this evening. It'll start to settle down. It'll come back tomorrow. Warm temperatures to the south. Here's the high pressure. Big storm to the west. All of this is going to stay well to the west. And this high pressure, unlike on Saturday, which gave ground very quickly and brought clouds in a lot faster than I thought would happen, will likely hang its ground and hold its ground for a while and will keep the sunshine around for several days. So there we are drying out into tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, very little cloud cover. And look at this all the way through Wednesday. Now we're going all the way into Thursday. A lot of sunshine in the forecast. It is looking good. A nice dry dome of high pressure. And so it should look good. And towards the end of the week, that jet stream moves way to the north and mild temperatures coming in. I was talking about an exciting day on Friday. It's actually Sunday is where we get the really warm temperature coming in. 40, uh, 50s tomorrow, low 50s, mostly sunny. That northwest wind will make it feel real chilly. It'll be warmest in the Western Valley where the wind will be lighter and the temperature will be higher. 40 in McCall, 50 in Idaho City, mostly sunny, but everybody will see locally breezy conditions and uh, chilly conditions because of the wind. The Magic Valley, you've got a good wind coming in out of the West at 15 to 25. No rain likely. I forgot to change that. Mostly sunny in the Magic Valley. My extended forecast here, it is Friday. We actually dipped to 59, but take a look at Sunday's high temperature, 67 degrees. So we'll warm up a little bit for the first part of the week. We'll get a little bit of a breeze coming through Thursday and Friday. The temperature may go down a bit. The weekend, wow. That weekend looks phenomenal. It looks really good. It's going to stay? <laughs> I, it looks really, there's more <laughs> rain in the forecast after in the extended, so this is good. Let's enjoy this. We oh, will. We will. Okay. So when